Bottom lane. They're gonna be going here. They have a leech yet as well. Do they have the deeps though? Yeah, Phonic is dropping far. This could be a first blood going the way of the stand. And then sure enough, wow, that was crazy. A yeah, pretty big advantage. Yeah, we had the bait coming in earlier. It's hard to be able to blow up the Zentar though. Yol could not. Oh, the tower hit comes in. Now actually Uranium. Oh my god, he got all of those hits on the Gyrocopter and he just gets blown up a boast. Not quite so lucky with those bounces. And now Uranium trying to go from the top lane, but I don't think you can really just kill them over and over. Let's see if Obos. I think Obos is dead. No, Obos still no, got He's getting close. He will take out their puppy. Could not save him in time. In fact, he had no regen whatsoever. They're going to get chased down. The Centaur ultimate goes off. They might try and get Kuro here on the side. Yola has to go for that extra hit. Living Armor is not going to be able to protect him from this one as a counter kill is. Bad. Luna gets gigantic. You start taking out those towers and you're able to just uh, out carry that SF early on. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to make this to jump in. Dendi. Puppy is trying to heal him up as much as possible with the overcharge. Now, a bit of turnaround there as Solo getting low. Blast hit though. Doesn't go out. Obos comes in with his Rock of Bronze. Still trying to take away. Oh. Not quite enough damage. One hit. Puppy couldn't get it. Oh, oh the flat can. Cannon shot. Ew. Extremely smart decision there from Abos. Popping flat cannon and hitting Yol, and he gets the one shot necessary. I was dropping fast. They don't have a tree on their side, so Sedai so also is going to blink. It gets lifted up, though. Solo comes in, pops his clap, but some sort of miscommunication here. Kuroki is all going to get dro dropped, but if you only take a support here, I don't think it's too much worth it. Well, let's see, Cap. Oh, wow. They're really going to go for this SF. Winger him down. Now going to be able to follow up with this gun. Trying to burst him down real quickly. Fiend's going going off. Yol's going to die in the side here, but to get Puppy as well. As he gets cleaned up, Rock kiss diving in deep and getting a couple of kills off of it. Looks like Go Black is going to fall as Funic should just be able to chase him down. Nothing Go Black can do about that one top lane. We do have Bones committing to the tower. Uranium is going to be able to pick up the kill, but the tower does fall. Finally, the train protector is run down. I think they can just burn off whenever they want to. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, he does have some force on the side. We're going to have a three-man clap. Solo backs himself away now. Two-man stop goes off. They're going to try and blow up Puppy real quick. Cedoid not quite finishing him off, though. Kind of uh, overestimated his damage. Oh, everyone else coming. Yeah, we do have Yol sleeping up. Denny he's very low. Another clap should be able to finish him off. Does have that death animation with the gyrocopter feeding on Solo. Will be able to pick up that kill. On the side, we do have Go Black popping his overgrowth and a Fiend's Grip going out of both interrupted though. And now the is gonna be able to turn around with the rocket barrage damage, and that leaves just Go Black as the last hero alive for Rock Skins. Turns, fights with the Leech Seed, knows he needs all of that health back. And he's actually gonna be able to chase away the two other heroes of no. mid lane. They do have them jumping in on Dandy, popping. Oh, great use there of the relocate. Getting uh, the SF away from that Fiend's Grip. They should be able to, should be able to kill the uh, the Wiz. is going to take some well-timed stunts. They do have some backup coming in. Puppy already come in back in with Denny. Pops the ultimate immediately, but the rest of Rock Skits are already away. So it's going to pop a little bit of damage. Slowed down by the Rock Rock. But here comes Uranium. Turns on to Hobos. Now the two-man stop, and they're going to clean up both of these heroes in the process. Dendi is just trying to run away. He's not going to make it. The BKB advantage is up for Uranium. And chase down the rest of these heroes. Kuro about to take the mini stun to the face. Cedo is going to be able to hit the stomp, and that's going to be additional kill middle lane. They also have Funic being slept up, waiting for the rest of the team to come in to clap, and all the burst damage comes in. Funic will take out on that one, and Rock's Kiss wipe Navi and lose nobody in the process. Yeah, then he's always going to have his ultimate off, and he always going to clap you to faces, uh, like your face. Oh, dear. Oh, no! Wow. Funic hitting the big vacuum actually managed to put both of them on the trees. They don't know exactly who... And now we'll jump in from Solo. Yeah, it's easy opportunity to be able to blow up one of those supports. Both going to turn around, popping his ultimate. And he's going to let loose his ultimate as well. Already popping one here. Go Black managing to get away with his life just barely. The Brulings are running low here. As that's going to try and finish off the Earth one here. Go Black has a lot of health coming into him. The Leech Seed might just be able to keep him alive here. Nature's guys ticking out. They will be able to finish him off. The rest of Rock's Kids are coming in from the side. Brewmaster was able to live through his ultimate. Not used yet. Go Black, please. Never mind, doesn't matter, because actually Solo's going in, this could be a mistake, now there is the lift up, this is what I meant, and he gets absolutely blown up, this is a great win for Navi, it's just, it's just a bit too much, and oh, Dendi's left behind, maybe not, he's going to be fine. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> Smart play there from Solo, is going to be able to block off Dendi's retreat, he does have an Aegis, and it's going to be the turnaround fight, Uranium's going to pop the ultimate, trying to pop a most real quickly, Puppy's keeping him alive, but not enough, Funic will go down, now here comes Dendi, going to pop his BKB, let loose that ultimate, but Rock's kids have already won the fight so convincingly that they don't actually care about the ultimate. No
no one was low enough, and they're actually going to get a complete wipe here on uh, these. So rock skits, they make like basically <laughs> right. two. He just doesn't do damage right now. Sleep onto Kuro. Do they have any force snap or anything? They have the surge to be able to come out, and Kuro will be able to get himself away. We do have the Wiz ultimate coming in, but they're going to focus on the Wiz immediately, taking him out of the fight. Jarkovic pops in BKB, gets right up in the fight, wants to be able to take down these Bruling. The Bruling, it's going to go down here in just a second here. Funnick is almost blown up there, pulling the damage to Cicero, but it's still not enough. Uranium Solo comes back in with full health, pops the Rubik, and now keeps on going. Dendi is low enough without those BKBs. The more. Mm, also, what do you think about... Oh, hold on a second. Danny's getting initiated, but there's not too much follow up just yet. So, Dipal of this ultimate. Maybe they can just single out Danny for a time. Being solo, Danny uses his ultimate. Oh, no. no, he can't tether because of the BKB. Oh. Yeah, big mistake there. Kuro was able to get a clap there, and they forced the BKB and also forced the relocate. Looks like they're going to grab one of the supports. I think that's good enough for them. Oh, Dendi! No, not enough crit damage. Wisp may also be caught. Good use of the tether teleport there by Puppy. Ultimate with another flat cannon. So this time they're going to commit. Use the pipe. Now Solo tries to get off his ultimate in time. Still going to be able to get it off. Dandy is left up on the side. Kuro's going to wake him up. And they're going to focus on Puppy once again. Take him out of fight. Make sure he doesn't make the gyrocopter that much tankier. The rest of the heroes are being forced away while Luna's just focusing on the right. Dandy gets off his BKB in time. Fiend's grip is able to intercept the ultimate before it goes out. Now the vacuum. Now the ultimate goes off. But it's already too late. They already lost the fight. All of Rock's kids are still up. They've already taken down a couple of heroes here and now focus on the last set of Rex and might just be able to end the game here as Rubik dies on the side and now Rock's kids running into the middle lane. There's no tier. I mean, you can't come back, but this is the gyrocopter we're talking about, so you can maybe try to go, but not if he dies. See, once again, the sleeve is here. So, no, he can be popped by for board. There is a wish coming in as well, so Puppy can't give him a hand. Yo, the fucking fast, though. Maybe they can get that kill as well as so, no. No, they can't. The damage is just not there. And look at Uranium. He doesn't care. He just goes for the Rex. He's like, yeah, you can draw. All you want, I'm gonna kill you. And your ex, and everyone is dying. Rock's kiss, GG's got, that's it. Wow, what a game one. 30 minutes in. Rock's kiss, explosive start from them. Yeah, they've just been able to eliminate, uh, eliminate some of the mistakes they made going into the mid game. They had a couple of small errors there, some subpar initiations, them getting caught out in the Roche pit as well was uh, a little bit of downside there. But they performed so well before that point that they, they had such a big advantage and you're just able to turn that into more and more and more. And Navi honestly just couldn't do anything about it. Like.